I love to work. There's a script I have in my head now that's been in there for about two years that I really have to sit down and write because it's almost like giving birth because sometimes the ideas are, man, it's like wild horses in my head sometimes. There's so many ideas and they're all over each other. I have to take this idea and let it be born because if not, it'll push everything else back. What I would say to people who want to become me is don't become me, become the best you you can be because what, what I found very early on is that the, all of the power that you have and all of the strength that you have and all the ideas that you have are in are born in your uniqueness and what makes you unique and this may sound really silly but it's just really true what makes you unique is what makes you special and if you don't if if you spend your whole life trying to conform trying to be whatever somebody else thinks you should be or fit into a mold or fit into a system and you dull down your specialness then you're dulling down all of your ability to change the world so I think that it's very very important that people have an opportunity to be the best of themselves that they can be. I want to talk about something that happened recently with a friend of mine. He called me up. He said, uh, you know, you're contagious. I said, well, how am I contagious? He said, you know, I was spending some time working with you and now I'm going to start my own business. I said, great, man. That's great. He said, well, when you see it, you know, don't, it's nothing, it's nothing impressive. And I was explaining to him, never, never despise small beginnings. The Bible says that never, dis never despise small beginnings. There are things that happened that can happen out of the l smallest little start that can change the world. I also, he was telling me how frustrated he was because nobody notices him or nobody sees him or nobody will give him a break. And I explained to him about in my own life how sometimes, sometimes, People are out trying, they're pushing, they're getting cars, they're trying to be seen, they're doing all of this stuff. Sometimes God will hide you. And let me tell you how I know that. In my own life, I, I was under the radar for a very, very long time. And, and for the most part, I still am. Um, believe it or not, I really am. Um, you're, I, I was kept from a lot of things, a lot of, kept from being exposed to a lot of business um, ideas and business situations and business um, um, thoughts or how things were run. And by me being kept away from that, it allowed me to not be tainted by it. So sometimes you have to be hidden. Sometimes people are not supposed to recognize you. Sometimes people are not supposed to invite you to the table. You can't be angry about it. You need to accept it and find out why. Why am I being hidden? Because I tell you now, had I went the route that I wanted to go, what would have happened is I would have ended up in Hollywood and did the deals that everybody else had done and there would be nothing different, nothing um, spectacular about the blessings that I've received. It would just be an, an average um, story. But because I was hidden, because I didn't know how it went, because I didn't know uh, how things were supposed to go in film and television, that ignorance allowed me to carve my own way. I know this may be difficult for some people to understand, but, but hear me clearly when I say this. Because I was hidden, because I, nobody knew what was going on with the success that I was having on the plays, it was all underground. When I got there, I was able to make deals that are, were unprecedented. They didn't think there was anything to it because they didn't know who I was. Completely underestimated. The great thing about being hidden is that you can be underestimated. And when you're hidden and you're underestimated, you're able to do some things that will um, not only change your path, your life, but the lives of millions of people, the ones around you, your children, your family, it will uplift and change everybody and everything. So what I say to you is, if you're struggling and you're fighting to be seen, sometimes you're supposed to be hidden. It's not your time to be seen yet. Stay the course, learn what you can, walk in the path that you're supposed to at this time. And at the right time, God will reveal you, your talents, and everything you've done to the world. In the meantime, prepare.